Alright, kita bersama dengan pemenang pingat perak kejohanan individu Asia, Esi Wasanggari. Memang a big honor to have you dekat studio Nadi Arena pada hari ini. Apa khabar? Thank you. All good. All good, all good. Yeah, Nampak makin cantik tau. <laughs> yes, yang penting sihat, happy. Alhamdulillah, happy yeah, daripada betul. macam ni. Right. Hmm. Okay. So, so Dayang, uh, pertama kali of course kita nak ucapkan tanya uh, di atas kejayaan you. Dan mungkin you boleh kongsikan, uh, ini adalah uh, kejayaan mungkin kejayaan pertama uh, Siva Sanggeri selepas get, come back to yes. gelanggang kan? Yeah. So, <coughs> macam mana perasaan you? Um, it's a mix of emotion of course. Um, I think I started uh, playing my tournaments in February. But um, obviously still not really 100% getting back into it. But um, I think... Um, Winning a silver medal does uh, show that I'm getting there. Mm. I'm, um, I think obviously still disappointed not winning the gold medal. Tapi I had a few tough battles uh, until getting to the final. So I think I'm, I, I would say I'm happy with my performance. But you know, I wish I could have won the tournament. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. so because you kata yang you wish you won gold instead, kan? Ada tak you rasa yang you actually put pressure on yourself to come back as fast as you can. Is that real ataupun I'm just saying that? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, yeah, looking back at the season, because now season, uh, now we have uh, off-season, mm. but looking back uh, into the tournaments, I know I think I've, I I did put a lot of pressure on myself to play as how I've been playing before the accident happened. So I mm -hmm. think um, there has been a lot of pressure, but um, I've been uh, telling myself not to put as much pressure because... Once I put a lot of pressure on myself, I really cannot play well. So I, I think um, there's a couple of tournaments that I performed well and I think um, uh, I did pretty well compared to the one I put pressure on myself. You baru come back February, kan? Yes. Technically, officially February. Baru berapa bulan? Hmm. Hebat, kan? Hebat sebenarnya hmm. tau. Oh. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sangat sangat hebat. Uh, Sebab sekarang sekarang dah habis belajar, kan? Yeah. Okay, so sekarang boleh fokus on 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 uh, tournament saja. So, what's your plan? Yeah, um, obviously, uh, I baru je habis uh, belajar and graduated. Congrats! Uh, thank you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like one burden is left out. So now I can just focus on my squash. Uh, balancing studies and squash was actually very tough. But uh, I'm just happy to be done. No need to reset, retake anything. Mm -mm. So now fully focus in squash and I'm going to be based in uh, United States to cut my university itself. Oh. Mm -hmm. So still train with my coach over there for a few more years, see how it goes and then we see the progress. All right, okay, jumping back onto the fact that you just graduated, tak pernah reset or retake any more papers, yeah. kan? This is a very um, a very good story to tell other athletes eh? yang you boleh belajar, you boleh bersukan at the same time. Tapi for your case, it's a special case. Sebab you baru je come back from a traumatic, yes. hap, something that happened in your mouth that we can say is traumatic. So macam mana si Vasanggari balance belajar, squash and also overcoming that? I'm sure you had that fear juga yeah. of what happened kan? I mean, yeah, obviously last year when that thing happened, tapi memang sebelum even that incident happened, hmm. I already wanted to take a semester off to focus oh. on Komawa and Asian Games. Because that time we didn't know it was postponed. Yeah. Tapi unfortunately, the thing happened and um, I, I memang had the time to recover lah. Back in Malaysia, I had ISN, MSN helping me out, a lot of physios uh, looking, taking care of me. So I think when I left in December, uh, I was, obviously I still I had to do some rehab, but I think um, physically I was okay. I was fine to go for classes and start back, uh, finish up my last semester. It was more focusing uh, the rehab was more for squash. So, mm -hmm. in terms of studies, I rasa dia tak ganggu sangat lah. Just mm -hmm. macam more of squash, the stress, the pressure of like wanting to come back and stuff. Obviously, that takes a toll mentally. Tapi, I'm glad uh, everything went well in terms of my studies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Itu yang special yang tentang si Basanggara ni kan. Dia boleh habis belajar. Kekuatan dia luar biasa. <laughs> oh, very strong. Uh, at one time, saya di Farfad, I heard that you tak nak pun sebut that traumatic accident that happened to you, you tak nak ingat, you tak nak, kalau orang tanya pun you tak nak, kalau boleh you tak nak dengar lagi perkataan tu kan. Yeah. So, uh, siapa support system yang yang uh, membawa you daripada that situation to this situation that you yeah. look good, strong and the Siva Sanggari yang kita kenal? I think, um, yeah, as you said, I memang don't want to hear anything about whatever happened, you know, anything that has happened, it's in the past, like, it's about as long as I'm alive, I have to look forward and see, find a solution to 
what I need to do in terms of anything my future, even though, for example, if memang tak be main squash di, there's obviously another way of finding back and maybe working and stuff, you know, that's always different. But I'm just grateful to be playing again. Obviously, my family was here with me when all this happened, so obviously thankful to them. And then I sent MSN, uh, helped me out a lot in terms of rehab. And then my coach, uh, my coach here, Coach Ajas, and also back in the US, Coach uh, David Palmer, I think, uh, they did put a lot of work uh, in terms of my squash. And I think um, just not physically, but mentally also, they were mm. always there. Even when I was doubting myself, I think they were there believing in me and like making sure that I'm trusting myself and trust this process uh, to come back. Yeah. yeah, I think the most hardest part tu adalah nak kembalikan kita punya mental tu yeah. kepada mental juara mental kan. Yeah. Mentaliti juara. Yeah. Betul. Sesuatu yang betul-betul sukar lah sebagai orang biasa kita tengok daripada luar kan. Mm. Okay, tadi you kata yang you akan kembali ke US untuk training semula dekat sana. Apa yang you look forward to the most? Bila dah start training ni nanti, ada tak mana-mana kejohanan, tournament yang you look forward to the most untuk tahun ni? Uh, I think more of, um, I think nak memperbaiki my ranking. Mm-hmm. Obviously my ranking dropped um, after I took a few months break from yeah. last year. So um, obviously to improve my ranking, just be more consistent in, ter- in terms of playing games, be more consistent of like the way I play and stuff. And also obviously we have the big games, Asian games. Um, yeah, I don't want to put any pressure, but I hope to be winning the gold medal, hopefully, because last time I played, uh, I lost to Datuk, Nico and David mm-hmm. in the finals. But um, that's that's a big goal this year, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. we look forward to that too. Yeah. Oh, that's how <laughs> much. Kalau sekian squash ni memang kita tahu yang Datuk Nico David letakkan satu benchmark apa, yang tinggi. Ya, benchmark yang tinggi. Mm. Ya, kasut yang besar untuk kamu isi sure, kan yeah. sasarannya. Okay, untuk uh, secara pribadinya, uh, as Siva Sanggari, sasaran you sebagai seorang atlet, uh, you mahu dikenali, diletakkan sebagai apa? What you want to be remembered for? Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously now I have a story to tell, right? Like, <laughs> after whatever happened. Um, but obviously, um, of course, um, doing well in squash, even though I'm still studying, I think that's one of the, one of the things I want to let the juniors know in terms, of, for now, of course, because I think studying is still as important. Um, I, I think about many athletes in Malaysia, like, after SPM, nak, nak, nak full nak uh-huh. full time saja kan. Uh-huh. But I think um, it's not easy, of course. Like, but uh-huh. like I think kalau dapat scholarship or anything, like I think they should try to pursue that career because I think I think anyone can do it. Like just balancing uh-huh. out uh, if you have your goals you want to achieve in the future. Uh-huh. But I think uh, in the future, of course, um, as you said, Datuk Nicole has put a big um, benchmark. Like she's uh, she's a legend of the game. Tapi I hope to at least achieve some of the things she has done and um, I hope to be someone too someday. Yeah. 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 But that being said, I think you are a legend in your own right. You are a survivor. You yeah. completed your studies. You are a champion. Ramai kanak-kanak oh. kat luar sana yang nak jadi macam Aisipa Sanggari. Mungkin yeah. sikit je sikit je untuk <laughs> adik-adik kalau dia nak menceburi bidang squash kan. Uh, macam mana uh, uh, macam mana nak start untuk bermain squash secara professional dan jadi mm-hmm. macam Aisipa Sanggari. I think you have to be macam clear with your goals. You mm-hmm. have to know what you want. Macam, um, I think for me, when I was growing up, I know what I want to do and I know mm-hmm. what I want to focus because, you know, in our life, we have so much of things going on, like social life mm. and a lot of things. Lah, tapi it's more of sacri- sacrificing things to become the best player in the world in terms of like much on the professional level. Uh, also yeah. knowing which battle to fight, yes, right? Yes, Choosing sure. your battle, picking yeah. your battles. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing Thank your you story so today. Yeah. Cukup yeah. inspirasi hari ini. I feel motivated. I feel motivated. Same <laughs> dengan <laughs> hari ini. And then hopefully to we, we will see you again in future. For we sure. will go yeah. medal, maybe. All the best. Yeah. Yes, we'll pray for you, definitely. Yeah, thank you.